to Arca. We are at Stafford here today, and this is a big mistake. <laughs> I'm just going to come out here and say it. Uh, I was not able to do my normal Monday night racing this week because I actually have a new job, which uh, will sometimes, maybe always, not sure yet, but probably prevent me from racing at that time. Thankfully, the new job will allow me to still participate in all my league races, which was very important to me, so that's cool. But it meant that uh, I couldn't race at the start of the week, getting started here on Wednesday in the afternoon. I'm going to head out for qualifying here. And uh, we've got a single split, 1.4k strength of field, and someone in the field is named Gas Monkey. And I... Uh, I'm scared. This is not going to be good. I didn't think it was going to be so low participation, to be honest. Uh, and this is a very, very difficult combo, so it can only turn out poorly, essentially. Let me try to get good qualifying in here. See what happens. One more lap. I don't know why I have session optimal up. I probably should have had uh, that's pole. That lap time was all time was optimal. I messed that up, but that's okay. Just gonna try to get the best start I can. Hopefully, be in front of uh, the messes for at least a lap until we start reaching lap cars that are already wrecking. We'll get a point three. I think that'll be good enough to get our way most of the way up the field. In fact, we're on pole right now. We'll see how long that lasts. Freaking gas monkey. I hate, I hate when people don't use their real name on here. That's obviously that's against the uh, sporting code. And it just like the whole point is you're supposed to have accountability for what you're doing here. I mean, you're not going to, there's no actual real world fear of crashing. Like, you're not going to get hurt. So, you need as much deterrent as possible to actually take this seriously. And something tells me someone named Gas Monkey is not taking this seriously. So, I just, I hate seeing that. I really do. But, judging by uh, the practice beforehand that I saw. I don't think it matters what your name is. I think everybody's going to be sliding around, including me. Though some of it might be worse. Some of it might be much, much worse. Like I said, it's single split. We are from uh, the one guy higher than me, 5.1k, which is right where I am. We're basically tied with the number one car. Down to 200 I rating. We got a 200, a 300, a 500, 700. Yeah, I mean, I wish them the best. Hopefully they'll be able to keep consistent, keep out of trouble, and that's all you really need to get a decent finish, I think. But you can see, like, a third of the field already has incidents in qualifying. It's, it's just scary, that's all. This is going to be a race of survival. I think that's going to be a big thing. I actually moved my brake bias forward because the car is so incredibly unsettled. On entry, if you enter too hard, you're pitching it sideways. And so I'm putting some brake bias forward, actually, from the default of 68 to 70. So that way I can be a little more stable under braking. And uh, hopefully can avoid any trouble. The one car behind us, P3, right now. Hopefully he's patient with me. I'm not great at short tracks at all. In fact, I would say I am below average. So, even if I lucked out with qualifying here, I don't expect to have the greatest pace, especially as the race goes on. And I just want to be safe. I want to survive the lap cars that are going to be sideways on the track. There's going to be at least one time there's going to be someone parked in the middle of the track. I can almost guarantee you. And we're going to have to get through it. So 
Time to enter the battlefield known as Stafford. Would not have signed up to this if I knew it was going to be single split, probably. Probably would have waited a little later in the day for more people to be active. But the end of the session. hey, I've been wrong before. Maybe this will be a great race. Maybe. Anything's possible if you believe hard enough. I don't know if I'm believing hard enough, but well, here we are. Line up on the inside. Closed. Pit road is closed. Session last lap. Got to really be uh, gentle with the throttle. You can't just stab the throttle at any point, or else it will try to break sideways on you, for sure. You just have to be really easy on all your inputs. You can't enter too hard to the corner or, or slam the brakes. I actually... Boy, good luck. I'll be yeah, back in the back so we're trying to stay out of y'all's way. You're gonna need that luck. So... Oh, don't worry, I'll end up back here with you. Yeah, you know, when I'm under braking, I'm almost treating it like road racing. Only braking when I'm in a straight line and not turning the wheel at the same time, because it, it really does want to brake sideways on me. So kind of like road course racing in that way. Though I will uh, hold just a tiny bit of brake as I'm turning as well, but the idea is to get the car slowed down before we start turning too much, or else uh, the tires won't want to grip like it's supposed to. Gonna have to find out quick what gear we want to start in as we ended up on pole. I mean, we've got uh, the number one car out here, David. He's 5.1k. James Watson, I recognize. He's also 4.9k. So uh, we've got strong competition out here no despite being single split. Treat them right, and good luck. So it's not like I'm going to just go run away with this thing. We ran the exact same lap time. In fact, I don't think I'm going to win this race. Yeah. Unless uh, other people yeah, get knocked out. Oh boy. There we go. Follow the pace car. Ooh, pace car's even. Looks like a second gear start, potentially. Man, pace speed's kind of fast here for a short track. Looks like there could be a tiny bit of wheel spin on throttle, even with the lower, lower RPMs. So we have to be ready for that. Wouldn't it be funny if Gas Monkey was that guy's actual name? Five laps, boys. Let's don't run over each other on the first lap. It's gonna happen. There are gonna be people run over on the first lap. That's. It's gonna happen. I promise you. Maybe not the first lap. Maybe the second lap. But I'm not hopeful. It's probably gonna be more like people spinning out on the cold tires than uh, people getting run over. But we're gonna have to dodge some stuff. Get ready, going green. Get ready. Ice car is off, be ready. Oh, uh, you can just go around me, David, if you want. I'm gonna say hi. Green, green, green. green. Got behind entered kind of hard, so I kind of gassed it up a little bit more than I wanted to. Oh, they're already spinning. That's unfortunate for the number four. Slow car down low. Someone already low on the track and in the driving line. Why you would park in the driving line, I don't know, but we make it around. So far, so good. We actually got some room around us right now. After the four car spawn, that'll help us out. You're leading. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we won't come up on anybody too much. We won't have to worry about finding a way around dangerous accident or anything. That's the fastest lap. 
Ooh, almost cast it up too much. Very, very light on exit. Gotta be careful with that. Got people crashed. You can see people yeah, right, below the apron. We're currently setting the pace. Currently setting the pace, I like to hear that. I don't know if the four just self spun at a turn two on the first lap, or if he got tapped from behind. Ooh, easy on this uh, transition for the apron. That can spin you too, if you get on that too much. Okay, gotta be careful. Careful, where is he? Okay. Really gonna have to listen to my spotter and be ready to avoid what might be coming around the corner. We got people leaving already. Thinning the field out. We had 18 cars to start. Make sure he's not coming down the track. We're good. It really helps to start P1, that's for sure. Especially if P2 is going to self spin out of turn 2. You got to check up for that. So, very fortunate to have qualified where I did. Got a good, decent enough jump. We still have a lot of race to go though, a lot of lap traffic we're probably going to encounter. Oh my god, what's that? Oh my god, he's coming out onto the racetrack. Yeah, he would have been right in my racing line. That's what I'm talking about, you got to be prepared for anything. I saw him down there and just assumed he was going to continue onto the track. So I planned to take the second lane and it's a good thing I did because he was there. And he inexplicably decided to enter from the grass into the racing line right in front of the leader. And you just gotta know that stuff's gonna happen, I guess. Gotta keep an eye on the 17. It's bouncing off the wall. Outside, clear. Okay. That was a Slowed up, knowing he could easily end up right on top of me. It is a game of survival when you have uh, when you find yourself in these types of races. So I guess that's my advice if you are on the lower levels here, even if you don't have the speed to uh, qualify up front or anything, if you can find some space and just try to learn to be consistent, run your line, just don't even bother trying to enter as hard as you can or getting on the gas as fast as possible. Just find your line, run it, and then be completely defensive. Be aware of everything around you. And uh, more than likely, you'll find yourself with a good finish. Because so many people get wrecked out. Just it's inevitable with these types of uh, single split or just lower strength of field races. It'll happen. Good consistency. Keep them coming. So right now, with my... Uh, uh -oh. What are we going to see? What are we going to see? Okay, he's turning down. He's into the grass. We're good. Okay. I stuck my corner a bit, but we're fine. So. Let's five that. We've got about a second lead right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't think I'm the fastest guy out here by any means. I got very fortunate with a pull run. But I think that number one could catch me. Over a long run, which is what we're gonna get here because there's no cautions. We'll just run our line, keep out of trouble, and we'll see if it uh, if we can keep it in P1. You've just done a Try to limit my mistakes, and hopefully this gap we have will hold up. For a while. Go high. Not sure what was going on down there. Looked like someone was slamming on their brakes or something. I saw smoke out of them.
keeping it smooth though. Seems to be doing me pretty good. We're approaching more lap traffic, however, and they might actually fight back a little bit because they are uh, four position these two cars, so they might be less willing to move over. Just depends on who it is you catch and how they feel about it. Uh -oh. Looks like he's heading the right direction again. They're up in the wall up there though. That was a 20 yikes, yikes, yikes. Get around that. Catching the 15. He is slamming on the brakes. Why are you taking the line, man? Okay, he's not going to get out of the way. But he does drift up a little bit there, and we are able to get around. Just got to be patient. Be ready to be a little slower than you think you need to be. When reach you guys. Or maybe struggle a little bit more. We lost time there, but the guy in P2 is going to have to pass him as well. In fact, uh, the guy in P2 lost P2 now. I don't know if that had something to do with it or not, but... Non-zero chance, that's for sure. Ian's driving in two lanes at once. Outside. The metal and the high line. So I'm not really sure where I need to be. Hope we get around him. That lost us another bit of time. That three is a coming. But I'm not going to push anymore. This is one of those tracks where if you start trying to push, you'll probably just end up slower and or wrecking anyway. He's 0.7 back. That's still a little bit to work with. You've just done a 20.0. Just getting past halfway now as well. After this lap, that's half distance. The fuel's okay. That lap was a twenty one point one. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Alright. Is the 12 gonna get out of the way? Car out kind of. That'll work. See smoke. Almost kind of doing a diamond line at this point. I don't know if that's exactly the right way to do it, but I'm not going to argue too much with where the car wants to go. That would mean putting more wheel into it. And that means more likely for this thing to snap. So if the car wants to take that diamond line. I'm not going to turn my wheel extra hard. Do anything crazy with the pedals to recorrect it. Just ease it through. Probably just need to not drive in quite as hard to stick that white line a little bit better. Your last lap time was at 21.1. That was a little bit better there. I think that'll get us a little bit more through that corner. It's 
So as long as you drive the right racing line and are smooth with it, I think uh, you can get good results, especially if you're just not crashing. You've just done a 20.0. We've actually gained back some time to P2, but we've got three lap cars coming up that we're going to have to worry about. They look like they're about to wreck each other, too. Slow car ahead. Go high. Car inside. Okay, well, we Clear lost inside. all of our uh, gap, I guess. Car outside. Clear. But at least we didn't crash. That lap time we were gaining on him a minute ago, so it's all right. Slow car down we'll get back on it. Go high. God. Gotta be ready for anything. That's for sure. Your lap time was at 21.6. I think I probably gassed it up too hard while at a slow speed. Just spun the tires. And then himself into the wall, looked like. Alright, just still keeping it steady, not trying to overdrive or anything. You think that'll just make me slower if I try to do all that? The guys uh, behind, we got pressure again. I don't want to be doing anything different that could cause me to get sideways. We're just going to keep at it. Getting frame drops, that's not what I need at a very difficult track like this. Lots of people leaving. The track is getting more and more empty, which I guess could mean less chance for us to get involved in a terrible crash. I think that's what that means. Frame drops are not helping me be any faster. That lap time was that's for sure. Stay high for you later. Car outside. Stay low. Clear high. You're welcome, bud. Okay. Working hard. Trying to keep this thing steady, be ready for whatever the lap cars are going to do. That guy was good about it in number five, did that perfectly. Announced his intention, stayed in the second lane for us, that was very nice of him. Can't really ask for much more. Getting some space back from P2. We've got more lap traffic coming up that's not getting out of the way. I'm spinning. Oh, maybe not spinning, but very nearly. Clear out guard if you want it. Outside. You get below him. Clear. Thankfully, James behind, patient with us as we get around. P2 
getting closer to the end of this thing. That was a I think we got it, so long as we can get past uh, however many more lap cars we need to get past. But I can't get too easy on the lap times either, because he is right back there. Oh my god, why would you do that? That is not what you should do as a lap car. Slow down, cut right across the driving line like that, just hold a line, be predictable. I almost ran right to the back of him. Hey, Kevin. Five. Five to go. Five to go. Just done a Short track, these laps feel like they're taking forever. I don't know why the 18's driving in the middle of the track again. Outside, clear. Was that 21.4? But we make it by. We're still feeling pretty good. I think it's all about tire heat with tracks this short. We're going so slow. We kind of missed the bottom there, but we can do a little cut down. That diamond line again. Steady ghost. We can win this. Alright, only a couple to go. I need one more good lap. One more. Looks like he got loose behind us. I see smoke. That scares me. But we're good. We'll get the win. All right. Whew. Here we go. Thanks. Good race. That was a game of survival out here. Yeah, that was epic. <laughs> All right. We get the win. Very uh, endurance race, even though these arc races are pretty quick. Sure feels like endurance when you know you got no cautions. We'll take a look at the tires. Actually, 87, 92. That's more than I thought we would get out here, but it didn't feel too different. So, we pull it off. We survive the battlefield. <laughs> We'll take a look at what happened out here. Probably plenty. We'll see what happened to the four if he got run over or just spun it on the cold tires. Uh, the 16 is going to loop it before he even gets to the line. That's unfortunate. Having to start on a turn can be difficult sometimes. The four is just going to loop it on his own. Just gets on the gas too much on the cold tires. Not willing to grip up for him. 17, however, is going to get some help. It was more willing to hit the gas pedal than he was. Just runs him right over. Ten overdrives it and into the wall. Sixteen is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> He's taking the road course. Stafford road course. Eventually finds the solid stuff again. They ain't gonna run over another person. Making a habit out of that. 
or team drives in too hard, that's what can happen. That feeling, you get uh, loose on entry, it'll just break on you. Definitely had that a few times in practice. He's going to do it again here too, just driving in way too hard. Not using enough brake to slow it down before he uh, starts turning the wheel. Levin's going to get loose. End up by the wall there. 17 going to go out and hit some wall. Nothing else going on until he spins into the infield and he's taking the road course as well. I appreciate these guys at least for not entering the track perpendicularly. That would be much worse. See, they're, they're making sure they're parallel to the racing line and everything. That's generally what you want to do if you need to re-enter. 17 all over the track. I don't know if he's broken or what, but he definitely couldn't get that car to turn that whole corner. The 12 almost saves it, but overcorrects. Some team drives in too hard, gets that brake loose. I do think uh, moving the brake bias forward just a bit can help with that, but also just treating it like a road course, brake in a straight line, and then uh, once you get the bulk of your braking done, just light braking as you continue through the corner. The 8 just not taking this seriously, I guess? I don't know what that was. Is it, He's just like full throttle, like battling... the uh, looseness. That's just not what you gotta do. Yeah, you can hear his full throttle. Like You just gotta back it out and use less throttle, because more throttle is not gonna make you go faster in these instances. It's just gonna burn up those uh, rear tires, get them really hot, and then your problems are just gonna get worse as time goes on. Cause the, tires are, the tires are gonna get hotter and hotter, and you're gonna get less and less grip. And obviously it gets you really unsettled too. And uh, you can see it just it's not going to turn for him once he gets to the corner. Rear end just slides out from under him. Gas Monkey. Going to hit the wall. He was actually one of the few people with 0x this race. So uh, good job, Gas F Monkey. The F stands for Funky. His friends call him Funky Monkey. Okay, that is it, actually. So once everybody left the race, <laughs> uh, I guess it was clean from there. So, all right, we survive a single split race. All right. <laughs> Always uh, nice when that can work out. Gas Monkey gets a top five. <laughs> and uh, so does James. David, unfortunately, the four spun himself out. Did you just give up after that? I hope not, because I feel like he still could have gotten... He could have been just fine, I feel like. Even after spinning, because so many people would have crashed out. What happened to him? Oh, he spun again and then called it quits. Honestly, he could have probably spun it around. And being that he was fast enough to qualify second, if he could just avoid those mistakes some more, I think he still could have gotten top half of the field easy. So, <laughs> I guess the message there is don't give up. Because, you know, we had six cars on the lead lap. I think he probably could have been a guy that stayed on the lead lap at least. But we stay on the lead lap. We were the lead of the lap. <laughs> uh, that'll do it for this one, though. Um, I was nervous, but we made it. Stafford and Arca, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon with some more iRacing for this week.